And welcome, welcome into the television version of Strategies for Living. I'm marriage and family therapist David McMillan. I'm delighted that you've tuned in, joined with me today here on Strategies. Strategies for Living, well, we're all about helping us live healthier, happier, and more peaceful lives in our bodies, in our minds, in our spirits, in our relationships here in the 21st century. Now, we do that by engaging in important conversations with folks we like to call life strategists. And I think we're gonna hit each and every one of the points today with our life strategists. We're among friends today. From the St. Vincent de Paul Society, we have uh, Bonnie Martinez, who is the president of the Western District of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul Conference here in the shreveport Bossier City area. And we have David Douay, who is, uh, he, well, he's, uh, president of Holy Trinity's uh, district uh, of St. Vincent's de Paul Conference. And uh, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you thank for coming you. and oh, being- Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for the invitation. Life strategist here on uh, Strategies for Living. St. Vincent's de Paul, very, very important saint in the Catholic Church. Well known around these parts. I think it's probably the same St. Vincent that St. Vincent's Academy and therefore St. Vincent's, Mall St. Vincent's was named for. So we certainly know the name. We've, if you've lived around these parts, we know St. Vincent, we've heard St. Vincent's, but exactly who was St. Vincent de Paul and why does he matter so much, especially in the 21st century, especially today? Well, St. Vincent de Paul is known as the Apostle of Charity. Now you have to go back almost over 400 years to uh, the mid-1500s when he was born. He lived from the mid-1500s to the mid-1600s. Right. And um, was a Catholic priest who had a real heart and compassion for the marginalized, for the poor, for those that had needs in his time frame. Um, he and his one of his contemporaries, uh, St. Louise de Merillac, uh, founded several organizations that we're familiar with, Daughters of Charity, mm. for example, Congregation of the Mission. Mm -hmm. But his whole purpose as a priest was to help bridge that gap between um, an impoverished life and a life that's sustained at an adequate state of life. So the St. Vincent de Paul Society uh, throughout the nation, and particularly in the Diocese of Shreveport, particularly in the Western District, uh, reaches out to those who are marginalized, those who are impoverished. Is that the mission of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, yes. Bonnie? Uh, Vincentians, as we call ourselves, are inspired by gospel values. And so in this particular area, we are all volunteers. Uh, we are men and women who wish to grow spiritually mm -hmm. by serving those who are less fortunate. And so that is our primary mission. How did, uh, how did the society get started? How did, how did it form from St. Vincent de Paul himself into the society that is worldwide? Well, the founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul is actually Blessed Frederick Ozenam, who was uh, an another Frenchman who lived almost 175 years later than the death of St. Vincent de Paul. Now, for our viewers who are not Catholic, Blessed, you use the term blessed, David, so that means he's on the way to sainthood. On the way to sainthood. He hadn't quite made it yet. Not he yet. Hadn't, he hadn't gotten, the, he hadn't gotten the, the special mass yet. There's I another think, miracle oh, waiting. There's another miracle waiting That's to happen, right. but he's, he's well on the way, right? Indeed. Yeah. Okay. So Blessed Frederick was a student. Uh, he was born in Lyon and then uh, moved to Paris to go to university. Well, he collaborated with some students of his time and uh, they formed a small group. And Blessed Frederick was challenged by uh, his friends and his contemporaries. You know, you say that you have Christian values, but what are you doing to prove those Christian values? And it really got to the core and the heart of who he was. And um, so from that seed budded the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, the Society went through several name changes before it actually became the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. But it was named such because of the inspiration of the patron saint of St. Vincent de Paul who had lived 
years prior. Now you're at Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. You're the, the uh, does, does every church parish, Catholic every church parish in the Shreveport, Bossier area, have an active St. Vincent de Paul Society body? Yes, and I'm glad you asked that, David, because we're very proud of that. As of about a year now, every uh, Catholic church in the Shreveport, Bossier, and Vivian area has its own St. Vincent de Paul conference. Now, it's unique. The St. Vincent de Paul work is unique because, you know, when, and, and again, please forgive me because I'm not a Vicentian, uh, but it seems to me look, from the outside looking in, uh, and if I get this wrong, you'll, you'll correct me. The old saying, you know, uh, give, a, give a guy a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a guy to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. To me, it, it looks like from the outside looking in at the work of St. Vincent de Paul Society that you guys feed, but you also offer assistance to not just to hand out, but also let us lift you up. That's right. You know, actually, our uh, vision is that we would end poverty through systemic change. Um, now, systemic change is a, a, a terminology. It's a big word, that's yeah. right, that's right. But what it actually means is that we will help individuals to move out of poverty to embedder their lives, but that takes time. And so here locally in Shreveport, we realize as a society that there are many things, many, many, many needs and of, of those that we serve. And we find that out quickly whenever we go on a home visit. Do. And many of the needs, um, as we're talking and in, in, in developing a rapport with those that we serve, we realize that we do not, as Vincentians, provide those services. So there is another uh, component to St. Vincent de Paul, and that is referrals, referrals to other agencies. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going beyond that, and, and our goal to create some um, initiatives where we can, for a, in a long range um, period, help people to move out of poverty. So our responsibility as Vincentians is to get to know our fellow um, organizations, get to know the services that they provide very well, mm -hmm. and in addition to just referring them, we want to we want to make sure that we have a relationship with this person. So I'll name a few of the agencies that we have identified. First of all, because we are a Catholic lay organization, you would think, well, you know, it's, it, it, you can assume that we would uh, we would partner with Catholic charities. Right. Well, that's true, but the main reason why we're partnering with Catholic charities is because of their money school, because we find out initially that, you know, sometimes it, there's a lot of factors that play into why they're requesting service. But many times it has to do with something as simple as budgeting. Right. And so Catholic Charities has an excellent money school that is taught by a financial planner and it's offered each week. Mm -hmm. So we as Vincentians, we have had a pilot program and so this is about to be able to be expanded to all the conferences for the opportunity. We will identify those that we serve who um, can attend money school and um, they will go through that process, which also includes a one-on-one -on -one, um, actual financial planning seminar with the person. Wow. And we as Vincentians then, uh, we're, Catholic Charities and St. Vincent de Paul will be sharing the results of this, um, of, of this program so that as Vincentians, we can continue the relationship, we can continue the follow-up. The Money School uh, is providing us with the documentation to do that. Right. Uh, we'll do some training where we will learn some strategies on how to... And um, then you'll follow that yes, person, we'll follow you'll that follow person. that family. Yeah. Right. We'll let them know that we're there for them for the long run and right. that we have the same goal in mind for might them. Be, might be in a support uh, situation, might be in a reminding situation. Now remember what exactly. you learned in, exactly. in the money school. The key so. thing is change. Yes. Mm -hmm. We talk about systemic change. Yes. We have the systemic aspect of our culture and our society, but then the change aspect is so important because we know if you they, us, all, if we continue to do the same things we've always done, we will get the same results. Right. And so we want different results in their lives. Right. Mm -hmm. 
he sent them out two by two. That's another thing that, uh, well, when I invited David mm -hmm. to come on the TV show, he said, oh no, won't come without body. <laughs> we're, we're, we're Vicentians, right. we go two that's by two. Right. And that's one of the mark of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. It, it right? really is, and that's really the core part of what we call the home visit. And that's what makes us different than many other agencies is we take time as volunteers to go into the homes of those that call for assistance and make that personal contact with them. There's something about sitting across the table from somebody that makes it much more personal and aspects of life, their lives, are revealed uh, that you might not get over a telephone call that gets to the core of their real need. So yes, two by two. Mm. And you know, and it, it, it's not so intimidating to know that I, I'm, I'm going with a partner, That's I'm right. going with a friend, I'm going with a fellow Vincent, Vincentian. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. This uh, for 2016, just to give you a little insight as to uh, some data, there are uh, approximately 275 Vin Vincentians in the Shreveport Bossier area. Um, they, uh, we all made about 2,400 home visits. Um, helped when you can include the family members of those that we visit over 12,000 people. That's a lot of lives That's touched. Right. A lot of lives touched. The St. Vincent's de Paul Society is uh, what we're talking about today. We're talking to uh, Bonnie Martinez and David Douay from the local St. Vincent's de Paul uh, Society here in the Diocese of Shreveport. David at Holy Trinity, Bonnie across the diocese. We've got much more to learn about St. Vincent's de Paul today and, and uh, maybe even how you could help how you could get involved. So stay with us, more Strategies for Living when we come back. A promise was made, a promise that hit the beaches of Normandy, a covenant that split the skies over Berlin, a vow that captured Iwo Jima. A promise was made, a solemn oath that liberated Seoul, a sacred trust that defended Quezon, a pact that dug in in Da Nang, a contract that weathered Tet. A promise was made. A pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq. A bond that patrolled door to door in Fallujah. An IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans, 
a promise we all must keep. DAV fights for all veterans and their families so they get the health care, financial benefits, and support they earned. If you're a veteran who needs help or you'd like to help us keep the promise, visit DAV.org. Welcome back. Welcome back into the television version of Strategies for Living. I'm marriage and family therapist David McMillan. You're obviously watching Strategies for Living today, but don't forget you can listen to us. News Radio 710 Keel 101.7 FM. We've been there for 25 years. Can you believe that, David? That's some 20, amount of time. 25 years on News Radio 710 Keel. Strategies for Living every Sunday morning, 9.05 to 10. You don't ever get to hear us because you're always in church. But 9.05 <laughs> to 10. But you can also hear us at www.strategiesforliving.com. You can tune in to Oh, there's about six or seven hundred podcasts there, so we'll take the rerun. I, I expect you to listen to the reruns. We're with Bonnie Martinez, who is the president of the Western District in Shreveport, Bossier, and Vivian of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, uh, and David Douay, who is the president of Holy Trinity, downtown Shreveport, beautiful church, uh, beautiful Catholic church. In fact, the oldest church, uh, I think. 1896. This side of Natchitoches, oldest church certainly in the Diocese of Shreveport. Indeed. In the Catholic Diocese of Shreveport, and you are president of the Holy Trinity chapter of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. We're talking about St. Vincent de Paul Society today and its important work. You can go to svdpshreveport.org and find out more. There's a, there's a specialness, a spirituality. Uh, you know, people say, I want more than just to go to church and just, I want to be fed. St. Vincent de Paul Society feeds its members as much as it feeds the poor and That's the right. impoverished, does it not? How true that is. Um, as Vincentians, we're transformed through our outreach to others. You know, as Catholic Christians, we believe that this hits the core of gospel values, sure. that it is truly a sacrifice of self for the sake of another. It's just an extension of how we see our own families, for example. We strive to see Christ in the face of those that we serve. And so what does that mean? Well, to a Vincentian, that means that every human soul has inherent value, and that value within them needs to be fed. But as we feed and as we minister, so often we find that we are enriched and blessed beyond what we were able to provide sure. uh, for others. How many years have you been involved in Since Saint I Vincent retired, uh, about you were well, You were a school, five. you were a school principal? I, I was. In Caddo Parish? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Uh, I've been retired now for about five years and uh, that is something as a Vincentian, um, it is difficult for working people, working families to get involved as active members like Dem uh, David and I do. Um, we do have some, and I really commend them for, for uh, mm -hmm. being able to do so. But most of us, I would say, probably are retired. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are many ways that you can get involved in uh, St. Vincent de Paul. In fact, uh, we're considered as active members, and by active members, I mean that we, um, we do the home visits, right. okay, to those that we serve, uh, and we attend our bi-monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's are two major components of being an active member, but there are associate members, and we have such a dire need for associate members. Um, now what would an associate member okay. be called to do? Well, uh, one area is uh, as a volunteer helpline uh, individual because mm -hmm. we have an, a helpline that does operate Monday through Friday um, for two two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. So people in need can call and say right. I need help with my this or that. But that helpline is run strictly by volunteers and you can do this at your home at your kitchen table and we have a process in place where um, people who can give of their time. Some people do it once monthly. We have a few volunteers who do it a couple times a month. Mm -hmm. Um, another area, we have uh, generous donors, and uh, thank goodness that we do. And many times we have donors who want to donate furniture to us. Well, 
for, there's a lot of uh, factors that, that play into that. The physical ability, but many times it has to do with someone who has the truck and the trailer and the time to be able to um, join, uh, to partner with St. Vincent de Paul to go logistics. pick up. That's yes. right. Go yes. pick up and take to our, our warehouse or take directly to someone who's in need of furniture. Um, technology, you know, I, and Dave is great at technology. I that manage. comes from that engineering background. That's it, it correct. Must, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm okay. Right. I'm mediocre. But there are many technology needs that we have that either because of time or lack of software or uh, lack of the just technical ability that we don't have the expertise to do that. So many times we're searching for those millennials who maybe have the, the time and the technology and the software expertise to be able to help us. Um, another area uh, could possibly be in, um, help me out here, David. Well, so what about somebody that has a particular skill set or a That's profession right. that can offer something pro bono for one of our friends in need, as they're called, mm -hmm. might have. One of their needs might be satisfied by a professional that has time and a service to offer. That's true. Yeah. So we, we could be talking medical doctors, we could be talking dentists, Dentist. we could be talking accountants, we could be talking counselors, we could be talking anyone who has something to offer that perhaps could factor into it's as broad condition. as life itself. That's okay. right. Mm -hmm. And someone who maybe is good at fundraising. We have two major fundraisers during the year. One is the Give for Good, which is always in May. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have our annual banquet, which is usually in September. And so we're always looking for people with certain uh, expertise or time. Time is of the essence. It's a you know, commodity. People who, yeah, it is. It's, time is a commodity. And uh, so there's many ways. If anyone is interested in finding out more, about uh, St. Vincent de Paul and thinks, well, I just don't have the time right now to be able to be an active member, we can surely uh, uh, discuss with them many ways to become a Is this also an ecumenical effort in terms of, um, because I noticed at the banquet this year, Dr. Brad right. from First Baptist Church Bossier That's was true. one of the speakers. That's uh, true. So, so well, our faith partners all have their programs. Um, it's, it's an educational process, but at the same time, we're all part of one faith family. Right. And so um, that was one, the fact that recognizing that we are all part of one faith family, we have the same major goal, but also it was uh, intended to, to educate are some of our faith family about what St. Vincent de Paul and the, the banquet is a very good venue for us to be able to spread the word about what we do as Vincent. And we're definitely stronger together. Absolutely. Exactly. Yes. Absolutely. Exactly. Now, I, I know that you have something that you wanted to share, uh, particularly from Pope Francis, who so many people, Catholic and non-Catholic alike, uh, are drawn uh, to Pope Francis. Well, I do, David, and thanks for bringing that up. Um, we're celebrating the 400th year celebration of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And St. Vincent de Paul himself, his feast day, as we call it, is on September 27th every year. So Vincentians globally each received a letter from, saint, uh, from Pope Francis this year. And I'd like to... He may be saint. Pope Francis He may one very day. well be yeah. one day. That would be wonderful. I have this uh, real short quote that I would like to read, if that's Please okay. Please do. So when I quote uh, Pope Francis, I pray that you and the church may be granted the grace of finding the Lord Jesus in your brother or sister who is hungry, thirsty, a stranger, stripped of his clothing and his dignity, who may be sick or imprisoned, doubting or ignorant, Persistent in sin, afflicted or ill-tempered. In the glorious wounds of Jesus, may you find the strength of charity, the happiness of the grain that gives life by dying, the abundance of the rock from which water gushes forth, the joy of coming out of yourself in order to go out into the world, free from nostalgia of the past, confident in God, and creative regarding the challenges of today and tomorrow, because as St. Vincent said, love is inventive to infinity. Mm. How could you say it better than that? So, if folks would like to uh, find out 
more about the St. Vincent de Paul Society, SVDP Shreveport dot org would be the place to do it if you are part of the catholic family and you are at saint jude's in bossier or christ the king in bossier or gosh i don't want to leave anybody out uh let's mary see queen joseph mary queen of peace thank That's you right. uh, -huh. uh in in bossier are any of the shreveport parishes holy trinity mm -hmm. saint john berkman's wherever you worship you will find an active St. Vincent de Paul Society in that parish. Yes. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot. Doesn't take a lot. You can be certainly an active member mm -hmm. or you can be an associate really member good. and um, everything and anything that you could give would be appreciated, uh, including your time, your talent, time. and your, your money. You can always use oh, that, we right? Always use, always money. use that. <laughs> That's so true. if you're looking, if you're looking for something to be involved in, Think about the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, David, for coming today. Thank you for your uh, involvement in the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Thank you, thank David. You. Thank we you for being us. wonderful life strategists today. Folks, thank you for tuning in to Strategies for Living today. Don't forget, of course, you're watching us, but you can listen to us. News Radio, 710 Keel, Sunday mornings, 9.05 to 10. Uh, News Radio, 710 Keel, and 1017 FM. 905 to 10 and also www.strategiesforliving.com if today were the last day of your life you only had one more phone call you could make who would you call what would you say and why are you waiting for david Douay, for uh, bonnie martinez i'm marriage and family therapist david mcmillan see you next time here on strategies for living <laughs>